Hello and welcome to Module 3 VLANs the Packet Tracer. So please open up your Packet Tracer and follow what I'm doing and we're all done. You submit that as homework, the whole Packet Tracer. All right, so when you get there, just I need two switches. Okay, 22960 switches. We'll call this, change the label on this to SW1 and change this to um, SW2, so we'll know which is which. I need two PCs, one here and one there. Call this PC um, 1 and call that PC 2. Um, you know what? We're going to do iPhones too, put an iPhone between them. So, because we're going to create also um, a voice VLAN as well. Okay, so move that there. You can, okay, good. They're all iPhone 1 and iPhone 2. All right, and now we need connections. So let's connect the PC, fast Ethernet, to the iPhone PC. Another straight through cable, the black one. And you go from the iPhones to the switch and go to zero, 01 on the top. All right. And let's say PC2, fast Ethernet, to the iPhone. It's connected to the PC here. And you can go from the iPhone to the switch. Zero, 01. All right. So you can have a telephone and a PC connected to the same port. And the switch, where, because it has power over Ethernet, will power the phone, by the way. All right. We'll talk, we'll talk about that. Um, I think we talked about that. I don't know if we talked about that last semester or not. But anyway, we don't even need to plug it in. And the port can be, these two guys could be on the same VLAN, which we'll talk about later on. So we're all, all connected. So here's what we're going to do. Click on switch one. Oh, sorry about that. First, we got to, here, click on the phone. Well, this needs to be powered. Uh, maybe we don't have a power over Ethernet. So let's power this phone. Maybe I was wrong. So what you need to do is take the phone, take the power cord, plug it into right in here, and let go. And then the phone will be powered. All right, do the same thing to the other phone. That's why you see red there, by the way. All right, because it's not powered. So you click on it. If you purchase a switch that is has power over feeder, so when you see... And you let go. Now the switch is powered, and you can see we start negotiating with the switch, and they are all good to go. All right, so now it has to have an outlet. You have a switch that has power over Ethernet. You don't have to do that because it will receive power over the Ethernet um, cable. All right, so now let's go to the switch, and we're going to create a couple of VLANs. So on switch one, go to CLI. All right, hit enter, and you're going to do EN, config T. Remember, no IP domain lookup. Disable the DNS lookup. And we're going to do the host name SW1. All right? So now that we got that out of the way, let's create VLAN 10. Let's create a VLAN 10, and we can name that students let's create another vlan 20 and name that for the voice vlan right because of the uh, of the voice now i'm going to go to the interface fast ethernet zero slash one that's where both guys are connected to and i'm going to say switch port mode access because the port by itself, it's dynamic. It could go either way. So now I'm making it dedicated for data port for the, for the PC. And if it's a data port, I'm going to switch port. This access to VLAN, this access port to VLAN. Oops, I'm spelled access. To VLAN 10. All right. Now I'm going to, what if the data came in for voice? So what I'm going to say, um, MLS quality of service, UOS, 
trust the class of service. Now, what that means is if you receive data coming in and it was for um, voice, okay, I want you to switch port. The voice, which is a voice VLAN, to VLAN 20. All right? So now this port, 01, is configured for data. It's VLAN 10. For voice, it's VLAN 20. All right? Now let's do the same thing on switch 2. So go to switch 2. You're copying exactly the same thing, CLI. And let's go through that again. So you're going to do EN, config T, and no IP domain. Look up. And you're going to do a host name of R2. All right, you're going to create VLAN 10. Name that as students. And you're going to create a VLAN 20. Oops, VLAN land. 20 and name that oops and name that as voice name space voice all right now i'm going to go to interface fa0 slash one and say switch port mode access and switch port access to vlan 10 and I'm going to do MLS, uh, quality of service. I want you to trust the tagging that is on the COS. And if that's the case, we're going to switch ports, the voice packets to VLAN 20. All right, so now that the VLANs are done, now we need to connect the trunk so these guys can talk to each other. Of course, you can create more, more ports here for VLAN 10, but what happens if this switch is in another building and you want to get to the other side? So let's make port two as a trunk. And probably it's always a good idea to do this uh, before you put in the actual trunk. Now, you can put in a crossover cable when they like devices. But what we're going to do is, since this is 2960 switch, so um, MDIX is already enabled, so we could put um, a straight through cable. But Let's go into interface FA0 slash 2, and I'm going to say MDIX auto, which means please, if I put in a crossover cable or a straight through cable, um, know what to do, which means when he receives data at pins 1 and 2, he's going to send it at pins 3 and 2 on the other side and vice versa. All right. And the next thing we're going to say, we're going to make this port switch port mode trunk. And that means any data that is travel, any data that comes in, it's going to be tagged from which, depending on from which VLAN it comes. If it's coming from VLAN 10, it's going to be tagged with VLAN 10 and let it go. When he receives it here, he's going to take the tag out and send it to VLAN 10, which he will receive. If anything from VLAN 1 sends out data when it goes on the trunk because they, VLAN 1 is the native, it will not be tagged. So when it receives any untagged frame, it will be sent to VLAN 1, right? But we'll change that, uh, the native VLAN, some other time. All right, so you're going to type uh, switch port. We did switch port more trunk. Now, next thing we're going to do switch port trunk no negotiate. Now, what does this mean? Um, Which port? No, just switch port, no trunk. Switch port, no negotiate. What this means is the ports, the DTP, the, the dynamic trunking protocol, which is by default active at the interfaces, as soon as you create a trunk and you connect it, they will immediately, this guy becomes a trunk. You don't want to do that. You want to make sure you go in and you physically... Don't negotiate. Don't become a trunk just because somebody else connected to you. This is to avoid to avoid attackers from doing that. So make sure you tell you disable the dynamic trunking protocol. 
That means you do have to make a report a trunk yourself to do that. All right. So um, let's do the same thing on switch two. I'm going to go to interface FA0 slash two. And I'm going to say MDIX auto. So it can, again, it can accept um, straight through cables. I'm going to do a switch port mode trunk. So now it's a trunk and disable switch port no negotiate. Disable the DTP, the, the, tr the dynamic trunking protocol. Now I can put a straight through cable from port 02 to zero 02, right? Wait till it turns green and we should be able to ping PC2. So I'm going to wait and set that up. I'm going to go to PC1. Oh, I got to put the IP addresses. So let's assign the following IP addresses to PC1. 192.168.10.1. All right. And give it this mask. And assign PC2. Because it's in the same VLAN. It has to be in the same subnet. 192.168.10.2 with slash 24, right? Now, if I go to PC1 and I ping 192.168.10.2, it works. You see, it was able. So what happened is he went out, he was tagged with VLAN 10, and he went over to the other side, and he replied the echo reply. All right, now, here's the next thing. Let's create another VLAN on switch two. Let's see if we can do that quickly. So I'm gonna go to switch two, and I'm going to create, I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna create VLAN 30, and I'm gonna name that as faculty. And I'm gonna go to interface FA0 slash three, and I'm going to say um, switch port, mode access and i'm going to say switch port access to vlan 30. all right i'm going to put a pc in there and i am going to connect this pc to port fast ethernet 03 and i'm going to give it the ip address 190 2.168. I'll make it 30.1. All right, so let's do the same thing on switch two. And I'm going to exit. I'm going to create a VLAN 30. Name that as uh, faculty. And I'm going to go to the interface FA0 slash three. And I'm going to do switch port mode access and switch port access to vlan 30. switch was misspelled switch port all right i'm going to bring in a pc oops a pc in here and i'm going to give it the ip address 192.168.30.2 and I'm going to connect it because now they're in a different VLANs 03 and they should be able to ping each other once this turns green PC4 will not be able to ping PC1 because they're in a different VLAN right because they're in different switches even if you tried that uh, you'll need a router, and that's what we'll do on the next chapter. Uh, by the way, if you go to the switch one and uh, do Control Z and type Show VLAN Brief, you'll see. Oops, Show VLAN Brief. You see, you have the three VLANs that you have created. All right. So on the next chapter, we'll talk about inter VLAN routers where you can have these two PCs talk to each other in different VLANs. All right, submit what you got, and I'll see you.